Okay, this is B from Akita, and we're going to talk about funnels today. In this video, we're going to talk about what is testing, three different methods of testing, and common mistakes to avoid. So, what is testing? Think of testing as a way to do market research to evaluate the effectiveness of your paid ad, your landing page, or your email campaign. Testing means putting your control, aka your original sample, against different variations of your marketing material in front of your target audience to see which one works best in whatever you're trying to measure. This could be clicks, it could be engagement, conversion, or something else. So why should you be testing? Testing is important because you get to collect, analyze, and understand customer feedback to improve your overall funnel. The more things you improve in your funnel, the more seamless it'll all work together and the more clients it can convert for you on autopilot. Now, there are three methods of testing. There is the split test. This basically compares the baseline control sample to a completely different variation of the same sample is used for testing bigger changes. Now, some people use the term split test and A-B testing interchangeably, similar concept, but not the same. As you can see here in this image, the differences between the control and the variation is the button color is different, the background color is different, the image is different, the placement of the image is different, and also the copy um, placement is different as well. Okay. The next one we have is A-B testing. So A-B testing takes the baseline control sample and compares it to the same sample, but with one single thing that you change. This is for testing smaller changes, tweaking things here and there. And this is the usual approach that we use here at Kita. So as you can see here in this image, the only thing that really has changed is the image and the last one is multivariant testing. It's like A-B testing, but it compares the control with multiple variations. This needs to be done in a highly controlled environment where you can send a lot of traffic to it. Only then can it reveal more information about how these variables interact with one another. Okay, so what are the things that you can test? Basically everything from font size to color to multimedia images or video to copy for headlines or your CTA to layout and design, literally anything that makes sense to test. Some of the common mistakes I see overwhelmed healers make are they don't test, period. Either they don't know to do it or they don't know how to do it or they don't know what to test for, but very rarely do I see them testing. And other ones that do test, they don't have enough patience or traffic to test properly. You need to run at least a thousand people through whatever you're testing to see results that are statistically significant. Okay. Another mistake that I see is they don't reach statistical significance before they conclude the test. So this is a little bit of statistics here. The significance is the likelihood that the difference in whatever you're measuring, usually conversion rate between a variable and the baseline is not due to random chance. We aim for a significance level of 95%. This is our risk tolerance and our confidence level. So on the flip side, what that means is there is a 5% chance that we can be wrong and the results were due to chance, which is why 95% confidence level is good enough. Um, another mistake is testing too many things at once. The rule of thumb is to test one thing at a time, concluding it with statistical significance before moving on to the next thing. Now, just like how psychedelic integration is a vital, necessary, and important part of long-lasting growth and development, testing and optimizing your evergreen funnel is the same concept. This is exactly what Akita can help you in stage three of the all method. Here, we integrate lessons learned from driving traffic through your offers so we can optimize your evergreen funnel on an ongoing basis. Now that you know what testing is, the three types of testing and common mistakes overwhelmed healers make, it's time to get started on your transformation in becoming the liberated leader. Take our free quiz today to see where in your funnel needs more love and attention.